So you set up two separate mics to record your audio for your podcast or your concert event. And now you have to sync those audio tracks up. You can either do this manually or you can have Premiere do the work for you. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to have Premiere sync up your audio for you. Hi and welcome or welcome back to DIY Film with Merle Becker, the channel where I help you make better videos. Alright, let's dive in. I'm working in Premiere version 24.1.0, so if yours is older or newer, it might look slightly different. So here I have two tracks of audio. Each was recorded on a separate mic. Here's the first one. This is the same recording recorded from two separate locations. And here's the second one. This is the same recording recorded from two separate locations. When working with the audio, I always suggest turning on your waveform so you have a visual representation of your sound signal by going to the wrench menu in the upper left of your timeline and making sure there's a check mark by show audio waveform. Now to sync up both audio tracks, you could spend time sliding the bottom one back and forth, matching the waveform, then listening to see if it sounds right. This, this is, is the, the same, same recording, recording recorded, recorded from, from two, two separate, separate locations. locations. By the way, to move an audio track forwards or backwards one frame at a time, you can hold down Command on a Mac, Control on a PC, and press the right or left arrow keys. And this process isn't that bad, I'm going to be honest. But here's an easier way to do this. To have Premiere automatically sync your audio tracks, first highlight both audio tracks, then right click on them and select Synchronize. Then choose Audio in the next dialog box, and then Premiere does its thing. Boom, they're synced up. This is the same recording recorded from two separate locations. Pretty cool, huh? I'm planning on doing a few more quick tips for Premiere videos, so if you have any suggestions or things that you'd like to learn about when it comes to Premiere, leave me a comment below. And as always, if you found any of this to be helpful, please give the video a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the bell so you know when the next one is posted, and I will catch you next time.